Major General Investigators say Ethiopia's Army Chief of Staff was attacked at his home in Addis Ababa during a meeting with the former military officer. The Chief of Staff of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, General Sa'ara Makonnen, together with retired Major General Gazai Abarra, were also attacked within the home of General um, Sa'ara Makonnen. Uh, this was happening within his residence. And this heinous crime was committed by the bodyguard of um, General Sa'ara's, General Sa'ara Makonnen himself. Security forces believe the killings are linked to the assassination of the regional president of Amhara and his advisor, which took place earlier on Saturday. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said mercenaries under the leadership of the region's head of security are to blame. It was effectively a coup attempt by a very high-ranking military official and other military personnel. Investigators have taken several people into custody and Abiy has urged Ethiopians to unite against evil forces. His people of Ethiopia do not believe in silencing, killing and claiming power by spilling the blood of their brothers and sisters. They believe power should be obtained only through democratic means, unity and sacrifice. They don't accept totalitarian regimes. Ethnic violence has displaced millions of Ethiopians for decades. But since he won the presidency last year, Abiy has tried to resolve many of the disputes. All these conflicts that are going in the country, it's the result of an accumulated uh, uh, feeling of dissatisfaction on the side of the public. For the last 27 years, Ethiopia has been uh, governed under a, a fist of uh, like metal. It was a metal fist as a whole. So uh, people have been imprisoned. Uh, many journalists have been imprisoned. Uh, many others have been forced to, into exile, personally being one of them. Abi has freed political prisoners and removed bans on political parties. But coup attempts like the one on Saturday may suggest there is major opposition within his own ranks. Regan Devine, TRT World.